Ramesh Shah is a father in mourning. His 13-year-old daughter Lakshmi died when parts of their home collapsed on her during Cyclone Ampan on Wednesday. She was in class 7 at a good school. She told me, Dad, I want to study close by. Don't send me away to study. She was so good at her schoolwork and loved to draw. Lakshmi was one of dozens of people killed in the state of West Bengal where Ampan made landfall with wind speeds of 165 kilometers an hour. The cyclone tore through West Bengal and neighboring Odisha state, uprooting trees, destroying homes, vehicles and much else in its path. In the city of Kolkata, people assessed the damage after the storm passed. Ampan also brought hours of heavy rain, flooding neighborhoods. Thousands of homes were also flattened in Bangladesh. When the storm started, we managed to reach the cyclone center. Now our home is not there anymore. It's gone. We are going back to see what we can salvage. Millions remain without power in Bangladesh. People in the densely populated, low-lying areas around the Bay of Bengal are used to cyclones, but emergency workers say the aftermath of Ampan will be harder to manage as they try to stop the spread of the coronavirus. 650,000 people were evacuated to emergency shelters in West Bengal and Odisha, 2 million in Bangladesh. There are too many people here. It's impossible to maintain social distancing. I'm very concerned. We couldn't stay at home because of the storm, and here we are worried about corona. I'm just trying to dodge both. And with communication lines cut off, there are concerns about the extent of the damage in hard-to-reach areas, including the ecologically fragile Sundarbans mangroves region, home to many rare animals, including endangered Bengal tigers. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.